hasn't scored runs in ages. You have so many people around you, but the battle is fought alone. Same doubt, same question marks in your head. It never goes away. Will I be able to deliver for the team? If I don't deliver, what happens to me next? Am I good enough to be here? Trying to hit it too hard. My intent has become that. So. In 2019, at the beginning of the year, I didn't know when I'll play for the country again or will I get back to my position. It's the most negative or the most useless I've been in my life. There was a lot of, um, you know, fake sympathy thrown at me and I didn't feel um, that I wanted that kind of in my life at that point. And I called up my friends who have grown up with, chose to go away and find a quiet quiet ground and just keep batting for hours and hours without any distractions and without any without anybody coming up to me and telling me that something else is wrong i i knew that you know if there was something wrong david who i've played with for so long will spot it and tell me shot kl or any player when they go when they play at a at a decent platform sometimes you tend to forget like the small things which kind of tend to work immediately he was having a few issues with the incoming ball and a few issues with, you know, uh, his head falling over and things like that. I personally felt at that time that, you know, his bat was really, you know, away from his body. Then we went back, um, saw a few videos on, on the internet or like, I had some videos of mine previously and I compared 2017, 18 and there was a massive difference and I worked on both the things that I felt was wrong and what David spotted and then I started hitting the ball a lot better and I was a lot more in control of my batting. Magic doesn't happen overnight. We worked on it for hours and hours together. I know a lot of people, you know, watch sports movies and they think that there's a coach, there's a hard ass waiting with a stick to wake you up and make you run. They, that's not reality. Nobody does that. You make your own destiny is what people say and as you as you play sport you realize what that really means. Really? No. Almost got the air. MCG is still very fresh in my memory. It was the first and the only time that I was really scared on a cricket ground. I felt like I was getting knocked out each day and each time I went onto the ground. Top edge, fielder right under the ball, and he's held on. That's the end round. I never felt like I'll ever play uh, for the country again. A nervous stay at the crease, but he's gone now. What was Rahul even thinking? As I've grown up, I've realized that you know, failures is failures as beautiful as as uh, victory. So I needed something like that to. Um, Turn things around for me. Oh, surely he's out. No, boy, that was close. What is he doing out there? Even in the SCG test, when I went into bat, I played outside off stump, missed a few balls, and you know, I felt like MCG was repeating again. My opening partner, Vijay, said to walk away from the stump, gather my breath. Make the bowler wait if you have to and just play to your pace. Rahul's on 98. Struck it through point and there it is. That's his maiden 100 in just his second test match. Well done, young man. Incredible knock. That's something I still do when I go into bat, be in control of my thoughts. That's when you get the most positive answers and your body reacts how you want it to. At times when I feel lazy to go to training, my clock ticks back to MCG and I realize I don't want to feel like that ever again.
as soon as you leave the ground you feel every part of your body ache you keep telling your mind that this is what you want and this the pain is is a luxury just overthinking the game he can't handle the pressure he just needs to focus on his cricket hard enough for a for a sportsman that he's going through a bad time but people want to make it even harder who does he think he is he thinks he wants something is not working hard enough there's just something that kills me and that's something that you fight um as a sportsman emotionally Slowly, I realized that this is not me, and I let out all the distractions. Training in a quiet spot is what I wanted, but it wasn't fun. I wanted to go out there and pack stadiums, hear the noise, and feel the rush. The only thing I kept telling myself that if I get back into the team, I need to not be desperate to get runs. Just shut out the noise and do what I'm gifted to do.